Welcome back to another Tech Depth Teardown video. In today's episode, we will be tearing down this Dell Inspiron 16.1 for an LCD that we will use to repair a client unit. If you're planning your own Dell Inspiron repair, check out techdepth.com. We've got all the parts and tools you need. And if you decide you don't have the time or expertise and would rather leave it to the professionals, we accept mail-in repairs from all over the country. Let's get into it. So after using a Phillips one head to remove all of the bottom case screws, we're just gonna go ahead and pop it off. I note that the three bottom ones by my hands down here are captive and do not come out of the bottom case. The other screws will. Alrighty, so now that we have the bottom case off, uh, we're gonna go ahead and first disconnect this battery cable here. I always do this just to make sure you don't damage the battery or your device, it's just safer this way. And after we get that battery disconnected, we're gonna use that same Phillips screwdriver and remove the six screws that are holding in the battery here. Uh, you'll notice we actually removed a cable before we unplugged the battery, that's gonna be the a daughter board cable right there. You don't have to do that one first. Uh, our tech here just got confused and thought it was the battery, but no harm, no foul. Alrighty, so now that the battery is out, we're gonna go ahead and move on to removing the RAM. A push outward on both of the metal clips here uh, and the RAM will pop up and out. Then you can pull it free and repeat the process for the other RAM stick. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the Wi-Fi card. Uh, using that same Phillips screwdriver, we're gonna remove this bracket that holds the antennas and the Wi-Fi card in. And then using a spudger, we're gonna go ahead and unplug both the antennas and then pull the Wi-Fi card out of its M.2 slot. All right, since we're mainly here for the LCD, we're gonna go ahead and start with that. Uh, since this is an OLED monitor, unlike the other uh, normal IPS ones, there is an extra little connector here. Uh, that whole board that I'm currently working on and unplugging that ribbon cable, that is not present on the non-OLED models. So if you open up your laptop and you don't have that one, it is not an OLED model. If you open it up and you do have it, it's an OLED model. Uh, so here we're just going to remove the speakers just to get this out of the way here. Uh, these are the front speakers. Uh, they are larger. There's two sets of speakers. So there are rear and front speakers in this unit. Uh, here we're just going to unplug and pull out the right rear speaker and tracing that wire over once we get it untangled we're going to go ahead and take the other speaker out as well Alrighty, so all these cables we're unplugging here, uh, they're going to be for the trackpad, the keyboard, and the keyboard backlighting. Uh, the way they were secured in, it actually kept this cable uh, for the speaker under them, so we weren't able to remove it without unfastening those. Uh, we're just going to peel back the Wi-Fi antennas here. Uh, these are pretty well glued into the motherboard, or sorry, the top case. There's no point in removing them, so we're just going to leave them there. And right here, we're going to be unplugging uh, all the various connections that run to the daughter board on the right hand side there. On the main connector that runs to the motherboard, there is a retention bar. Make sure you clip it backwards and then up. And we're going to try to peel away at this black cover here just to get the CPU fan unhooked. There we go. And now we're going to start unscrewing using that same Phillips head, uh, all the screws that hold in first the logic board as well as the LCD. So after those two screws are unfastened holding in this extra board here for the OLED screen, we can go ahead and pull that off and it reveals one more screw holding in the main board. 
Now that we have access to these cables, we're gonna go ahead and unplug more LCD connections uh, that run from, of course, the monitor there. There's a bunch of them. Make sure you're very careful and you go very slow on this. These cables are expensive because they are for the entire LCD connection, uh, which is going to be the microphone, the webcam and touchscreen, as well as the OLED screen itself. These are very delicate and very expensive cables. Make sure you go slow with these. All right, after removing the two Phillips screws that hold in this first daughter board here, which is mainly the audio board, we're gonna go ahead and remove that as well as, as, well as the bio speaker here. I right, don't forget these two Phillips head screws that hold in the CPU fan. Or else it'll be kind of difficult to remove the logic board here. Now we're going to go ahead and just pull that out of the way, make more room for ourselves. So now we're going to peel back the LCD hinges here. That's going to allow us to access another screw that's hidden be below. Uh, this screw holds in the power button daughter board, as you can see here that we just pulled out. It also allows us to pull the full logic board out when we get there. So there is one more screw, as you can see here, that's hidden under that piece of anti-conductive tape. Uh, make sure you get that before you try to pull the daughter board out or else you will damage it. So we're gonna use a spudger just to get this cable out safely. Once again, just pull up and backwards on that retention bar and the cable will come right out. As you can see here, we're looking for a hidden screw. The board does not quite want to come out and it looks like we forgot to remove the SSD. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and do that now using that same Phillips screwdriver we've been using the whole time. And since this is a M.2, uh, it's actually a smaller one, not your typical 228. I believe it's a 222. Uh, it uses a little helper bracket to keep it in place. Uh, there's also another hidden screw uh, on the left-hand side by the IO that we missed there. And now we can finally get that full logic board out there. All right, so to remove the top case, just pull straight up and out. Since the hinges are undone and there's nothing holding it in, it'll come right out. And that's the complete teardown of a Dell Inspiron 16.1 OLED edition. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have anything you need, check out techdep.com. We got parts, tools, services, and we offer mail-in repair. Thank you guys. Leave a like, subscribe. See you next time.